Oh, let's see he'll let us through. We meet again. Aha, Madame Cola. An unexpected pleasure. I was in the gallery at the time of the theft. Can I get back in? I am sorry, but I am under strict orders from Inspector Nave. Uh, nobody in, uh, nobody out. Really? I, I must correct you, madame. It is no longer just a theft. It is a murder. Mon dieu, that poor man. Is there a reason I can't go in? I just told you I was Who is Inspector there. Nave? The most promising young investigator on the force. A genius. A man blessed with almost superhuman insight. He sounds highly perspicacious. Madame. Big words. Not for us to talk about the inspector's sweaty proclivities. He is about what? to solve his third case in as many days. So, what's he got that the other investigators don't have? Good hair. Blood spatter. He or that. is the world expert. He reads the entrails of the crime scene like a book. So he's a morbid bastard. Okay. Well. I witnessed the crime. I've got to get back in there. I'm sure you can make an official statement in good time. I saw but the thief. I think I can help the investigation. I am implacable, Madame Cola. That doesn't make it. What? She's telling you she saw the thief. That she was in there when it happened. Yet you won't let her in. Okay. I chased after the shooter and got a photo of him. Inspector Nave will be delighted. You've got to let me into the gallery to show him. Absolutely not. So oh. I cannot go in without Inspector Nave's permission? No. And to get Inspector Nave's permission, I need to go in. Exactamo. Have you ever heard of Kafka, Sergeant Mu? Madame Gola, I do not see what soccer players have to do with this. No, he's a... Never mind. He has been smoking something. Here's so my he cares about the first patch. Do you have a statement for the paper? Yes, madame. Stay away from the crime scene and let the police do their job. And always leave a light on when you go out at night. Good to know, I guess. I really need to get into the gallery and speak to Inspector Nave. Tut tut, he is not to be disturbed. He is applying his famous scientific methods. Any moment now, the case will be cracked. I certainly hope so. I am dog tired and you're want cracked. To go home. This was madness. Sergeant Mu wasn't going to let me in. Oh, what about him being Why tired? Are you so tired, Sergeant Mu? I have been working for three days with no rest. Nave is a genius in his field, and he assumes that we all have his energy and vigor. Oh, you poor man. If you'd like to go and get some sleep, I will watch the door for you. That's very thoughtful of you. Ha! A cunning attempt to make. Well, he's not a completely an idiot. A gendarme? Never leaves his post. Well, how about a hot drink? Ah, that would do the trick for sure. Unfortunately, I mustn't drink on duty. My doctor specifically warned me against it after the last... Uh, what incident? incident? That incident you mentioned, what happened exactly? Did you pee your pants? I don't want to talk about it. All I can say is it was very unfortunate. I am on duty, and I need to focus. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sergeant Mu. You've been so helpful. <laughs> that was a lie. It's been nothing but a pain in the ass. Well, see if we can get him a drink. Maybe we'll, we can force him to drink it or something. We'll put some sleeping potion in I don't know. Put something in I... Adventure games. Madame. Who knows? Bonjour, monsieur. Whatever it is you want, we are closed. Then why are you standing here? You would not understand. Oh, you're a pompous ass. Try me. Because I look at you, and I know you are like all the others. The others? The pretty women who shop, who gossip, who have their spa days, their 
almond croissant. That bad, huh? And the men with their grooming products and their shiny shoes and a skinny suit who come to my cafe and ask me for lattes. Good God. Frappe. I see I don't. point. Is this what we fought on the barricades for, madame? Ripped up the paving slabs, bled on the streets. Isn't it? No, madame, it is not. We fought for ideas, for philosophy, for freedom, equality, fraternity. Vive la revolution. And do you know what drove us on as we fought? What fueled the streets of coffee. Paris in that Don't glorious spring? What made our hearts soar? Don't say coffee. Uh, keep that would make sense. Sex? No, madame, no! It was French Café well, Noir coffee. that inspired us. The simple delitas. The black, sweet taste of freedom. So that's why you close? Yes, uh... madame. I serve only thinkers, philosophers, revolutionaries. And you, madame, with your polite top and your pointy heels, are none of those things. This is a café. Yes, to the right people. On any other day, I would have given this guy a straight And no one would blame you. But there was a chance he could help me get into the gallery. Um. Well, it's called George. Hi, George. I'm at the, the gallery. Cafe. Thank God you're safe, Nico. I tried to phone, but I couldn't get an answer. Inspector Moo is out here, and he's not letting me in. I managed to grab a couple of photos, but the guy got away. Poor Henri is dead. I know. Why kill him? I've been trying to find out. Turns out the alarm was tampered with. It looks to me like an inside job. So, no ordinary robbery? And no ordinary painting. The priest claims that La Maledizio is evil. I need to get into the office and see what the CCTV has to offer. Maybe you could help me out when you get back in here? If. If I get back in there. Because right now, the cop is being a dick. Who's the other guy? Ronnie. Let's call Ronnie. See what he's got to say. Maybe he's helpful. I highly doubt it, but we'll see. Ronnie, I'm at the exhibition over in Montmartre. You won't believe the scoop I've got. Death? Murder? You're kidding me. That place is a dump. What could possibly have happened to make it exciting? A painting's been stolen, and the gallery owner's been shot. What? Okay, speak to anybody who saw what happened. Scope out the place. And call me as soon as you get a story. If you're quick, we can make the evening edition. Bye, Nicole. Man. This could be the scoop I've been waiting years for. I hope not, because... I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Monsieur. Life is fleeting, madame. The sands of time are running through your fingers. Well, that may be, but... We know not what we want, and yet we are responsible for what we are. There's been a crime. That is terrible, madame. But you know what they say. No, but I think you're going to tell me. Life begins on the other side. Who of says that? C'est vrai, no? Well, I guess so. He was pushing me to the point of despair. During the riots, we battled the forces of oppression. Oh, really? That must have been terrifying. It was. Except that they made me stay behind the barricades with the oh, other baristas. We made coffee by the litre to fuel well, the that resistance. <laughs> I've never brewed so much coffee. Of course, our brave heroes spent half their time going for a pee. But with our coffee inside them, they fought the running dogs all night long. None of this was helping me get past no, Sajamu. No, it wasn't. Au revoir. Well, all guys are press badge. You want this? Here's my press card. La liberté. Madame, you are not the person that... See? Judging. You must accept my deepest, my most profound apologies. Well, of course I accept. But why? 
La Liberté. The great journal of freedom. At the height of the battle, as the tear gas blew and the blood flowed, it was La Liberté which carried the voice of our revolution to the world. I know now that you are not the kind of woman who would ask me for almond well, croissant. Maybe. You are a true daughter of France, and I am your humble servant. Yeah, I'll just mess with you. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll talk to you again. Monsieur. The road to enlightenment is a long one, madame. Perhaps you will... Is he hitting on her? Road with me? Could we have a little chat? Any time, madame. Coffee. How about Please. some coffee? For you, madame, of course. There is only one coffee that I can serve you. Black, strong, and in a tiny cup. One moment. Of course, a tiny cup. Ah. Here is your coffee, madame. Thank you, monsieur. The coffee was hot and strong. Why, why can't I just ask for I didn't really want to drink coffee. I just wanted to get coffee to give to the guy. Would you make me a coffee to go? For a fellow revolutionary? Of course, madame. One moment. Could have saved all this time just by asking for a coffee to go in the first place. Here's your takeaway coffee, madame. Thank you, monsieur. And she put it into her coat pocket. Guys have pockets of... Must be massive, to be honest with you. One guy puts a pizza in his coat pocket, you put a caraway coffee in your coat pocket. I don't... I don't get it. Salut. Bonjour, madame. Are you still tired? You know, if you are tired, surely your duties are suffering. Madame, I am a consummate professional. I would never shirk my responsibilities. I will uh, stand here as if my life depended on it. Or my job. And it does. Well, here, take the coffee. Sergeant Mou, I Just I'm a nice person. Coffee? coffee? Fantastic. Just what I need. But wait. I must not. My little <laughs> problem. That's the worst stutter I'm ever. Sure one little cup of coffee won't hurt. I am tempted, madame, but I cannot risk it. I am sorry. So, this incident, it involved you, some coffee, and your... Uh, yeah, he pissed himself, it sounds like. It is a tale of woe, madame. An earlier Ah, oh, jeez. Well, since you seem quite understanding, I shall elaborate. Please do. I was in charge of canine security for the president himself. Uh, one day, on vacances, he went for a private discussion with a lady He was cheating. Minister. I stayed alone with his dog, but I had drunk a coffee to stay awake, and nature came to call. As she always does. So I tied the dog to a tree and went for a secret really? pee, pee When I came back, the dog was having a liaison dangereux with the lady minister's terrier. But how did they find out? Well, two months later, the president's Labrador gave birth to six beautiful mongrels. And I was busted to sergeant just after the president's divorce came through. You are a victim of a great injustice, sergeant. You think so? But of course. You knew you must not fall asleep at your post. You were guarding the president himself. Well, the president's dog. Ah, it was the same thing. Yes, I suppose. Not really. And by drinking that coffee, you made the ultimate sacrifice for our glorious republic. Your career. 
Mm. How you put it like that? <laughs> and now France is calling you again. She is saying, drink, Sergeant Mu, drink. She is? What? She is. Drink or fall asleep at your post. Which is it to Getting a little into this. I suppose. Just drink coffee. It is. Drink? Bravo, Sergeant. Okay, you're okay. the fastest test and track okay. ever. Excuse me, madame. I must use the petit gendarme's room. It has got straight through me. Could you watch the gallery door for me? Oh, you can count on me, sir. Oh, don't sound suspicious. Come on. I distracted more. Breaking the That's wrong in so many ways. How did you get past Sergeant Mu? Huh. Well, you won't fool me so easily, madame. I shall question you later. Nico, am I glad to see you. So, what's the problem? The inspector's watching me like a hawk. I'll never get in without some sort of distraction. I'll see what I can do. You do that. Inspector Nave, do you have a moment? My time is of the essence. Be quick now. I suppose this is quite a complex case, Inspector. It is a robbery gone bad. Nothing more, nothing less. Surely there's a bit more to it than that. Please abstain from baseless conjecture, madame. The victim's body paints a simple picture, more reliable than any Not really. statement. Consider the impact of the bullet, and note the concomitant lack of blood. A casual homicide, nothing more. So for he stole painting and when he tried to stop him he got shot. But sure, nothing more. Don't you find it odd that the thief chose that one but What is with this painting? damn painting? Why is that odd? Yes, it's not the most expensive painting in the place, but still. Not that odd. Life is full of odd things, madame. Fingerless gloves, white dog poo poo. Nick what is your obsession with shit and I piss? To concern myself with murder. Seriously, everyone talks about it. Mostly piss, but still. Did you see the alarm was sabotaged? I have interrogated the crime scene, madame. I am fully aware of the disabled security. I prefer biological evidence to the merely circumstantial. Body parts, blood, important things. Don't you think the disabled alarm is highly suspicious, though? The forensic team will be along shortly. Voice your concerns to them. Do not bother me with this circumstantial flip-flap. Did you just make up a word? Why don't you check out the security camera footage? Madame, that is not my area of expertise. It is the body which concerns me. But the CCTV footage is evidence. It could help identify the killer. Correction, madame. It is but an indicator. The only true evidence is bodily... No, food. it's not. Unless you know something I don't, then please leave me be. The only evidence Inspector Nave seemed to... What do you think of that guy? What do you think about the American, George? He is deeply suspicious. Send with his phone. He's up to something. Oh, he's not gonna want my press badge. So. Thanks, Inspector. I'll let you know if I remember anything else. If I was going to distract Nave, I needed to unearth new evidence or concoct some. And the bloodier. Are you going to cut yourself? I'd never met the gallery owner before, but he sure didn't deserve this. Poor guy. Oh, I pick up the pizza box. It's made a stain. Really? We're not going to do this, are we? The tomato sauce had splattered on the floor. 
I spread some of this sauce around with my shoe. It looked a little bit like a blood stain, but it still wasn't right. If I was going to distract the cop, I had to get rid of that gun. Seriously? If the guy has this as his job, you would, I would imagine he'd be able to tell the difference between tomato sauce and blood. Oh, wait, what? That wouldn't no, make wouldn't. sense. I don't know why I was doing that. No way was I going to clean that up with my bare hand. Well, yeah, then it would make sense. There. I scraped up the chewing gum with my... Really? I'm not going to touch it with my bare hands. But I'll use my press badge. Oh, I guess it kind of looks like blood. If you squint your eyes a little bit and... Aren't really paying attention. Hey, guy. Inspector. There's blood back there. Yes? You want to see the, my uh, press car with chewing gum? Have you seen the stain on the floor over there? It looks like blood. Indeed. How very curious. I must investigate immediately before one of these idiots steps in it. Okay. You go do that. Interesting. Maybe it is time to employ the machine. machine. Whatever. Whatever, guy. Okay, Josh. That should distract him for a while. Nice work, Nico. I'll let you know what I find in the office. What the hell? I was sure the inspector hadn't seen me slip away. But I needed to be quick. Because it wouldn't take him long. Well, let's see the CCTV. The CCTV system was ancient. It took individual shots and recorded them to tape. It looked like I needed to enter a passcode to view the recording. Um, three, four, five, seven? No. Let's have a try. Nope. Four digit number. Why well, can I? Okay, let's see what this statue has to. <laughs> the statue was jaunty, up close and personal. I could see that the fig leaf was. Well, then move the fig leaf. Thankfully, there was no one around. Except for everyone place. watching the studio. Very interesting. Yeah, well, whatever. Let's go check out the desk. Oh, folder. There was nothing else in the drawer. The folder looked interesting. This was very definitely tampering with evidence. It's fine. It's not like we haven't been doing that the entire time we've been playing. It was a completion of work notice from a company called Vera Security. They weren't the guys we'd recommended. Henri had gone behind our back to choose a different security outfit. That doesn't make any sense. I'd never heard of Vera Security, but there was an address and phone number on the form. Well, time to go check them out. Henri's notice board was covered with all kinds of junk. The calendar looked like a child's school project. Huh. Omri had ringed 27th May and scrawled... Oh, it's not that easy, is it? Poor guy hadn't quite made it to his big day. Uh, well, I'm, I'm assuming it is, because that's the only number I've got so far. So, um... Zero... Five... Two... Seven? Sweet! Bingo. I reround the tape to before the robbery. This was the first interesting frame. It was Henri studying La Maledixia. He couldn't have had any idea what was about to happen. Well, no. The image was a little fuzzy, but in the center of the painting was what looked like a snake eating its own tail. I thought about what the priest said. There was definitely something unsettling about the picture. Chasing your own tail. Why is that an achievement? 
Was Arlie studying that picture, or did he look worried? There was definitely more to this robbery than I what? first thought. You can't even see his face. Nico and I were taking a look at La Maledicio just before the robbery. Funny. The painting didn't strike me as remarkable at the time. Well, that was just remarkable because it's odd. A good view of La Maledicio. I could kind of see why Father Simeon thought it was... You're just making shit up now. There was a certain presence about it. The killer caught in the act. There was nothing really distinctive about him. The moment it all went horribly wrong. He wasn't that close to... Okay. There was some writing on the front of his helmet, but I couldn't quite make it out. Why hadn't Henri backed down when yeah, he really? the gun? If that was me, I'd have done whatever the guy wanted. The alarm should have sounded when the killer took the painting, but it had been sabotaged. I wondered who could have done that. Maybe Lane, or even... I'm going himself. with, uh, Henri. Or perhaps... Even Vera Security, who'd installed the system. Eh, maybe. The killer making his getaway. A logo on the front of his helmet read Waterloo Motors. That could you be think? useful. The painting was gone. Thanks. Didn't see that. There I was, taking a look at the alarm box. Hopefully I didn't look no, suspicious. No, no, not at all. That was me. Probably shouldn't have done the that. Alarm. <laughs> I hadn't thought about that when I was taking a look at the camera. Hmm. Ah, I think it's angle. fine. Too vain. That was the last shot. I probably learned everything I could from the CCTV. Good. So we looked at the desk, we looked at the nose board, model bus. Henri had a model of a VW camper van painted in hippie colors. The engine capacity was displayed on the back. How could you see that from there? That's junk, junk pipe. Oh, pipe. It was a hookah pipe. Those things gave me a headache. Henri sure liked That was a big difference in noise. Well, level. What the hell? Just, why did that close? That was creepy. It's fig leaf is on a timer. Man, I found a crumpled letter from Ari's credit card company demanding immediate payment. It listed extravagant purchases from a variety of ladies' fashion stores. The address indicated that Ari lived in the chic and expensive 16th arrondissement of Paris. I decided to put the letter back. Ari's financial problems weren't my business. But now I don't need to remember that. Oh, hello. I wasn't doing anything. Monsieur, sir, you have snuck in here, and now you are tampering no, with my never. evidence. Never. What truth? I wasn't tampering with anything. I was just doing his job. Clues. That is my job, Monsieur. Well, you suck at it, Monsieur Stobart, George Stobart, Paris Mutual. We insured the exhibition. Oh, really, sir? You have plenty what? to gain from the robbery. Well, uh, no. We have plenty to lose from the robbery. Don't patronize me, monsieur. Only a fool wouldn't know uh, how you're insurance a fool. works. Just... Yeah, no flies on you, inspector. Exactly. I have to get up very early in the morning, which means I can be sure to catch the well. Okay. So I see. May I remind you, monsieur, that a serious crime has been committed. I am going to have to ask you to return to the gallery. Of course, but I do need to ask you a few questions. D'accord, but remember, anything you say can be used against you, monsieur Stobart. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. Why are you so fucking weird? That's what I want to ask. Do you know anything about a company called Vera Security? No, I have never heard of them. Now, I must get on with my investigation. Ready? One question? Oh, I can ask. Did you check the CCTV? No, you didn't. It's very likely that the security camera holds a clue to the killer's identity. Monsieur, I am a professional, and you are an amateur. So, 
Leave the investigating to me, huh? Pal. Monsieur, you are American. Good no? guess. Yeah, California born and bred. Of course. I think perhaps you are wanting to be like that Starsky and the Butch, monsieur. Huh? No? Rolling around on top of fast cars with beautiful ladies, firing your gun. Interesting idea, Inspector, but not really my style. Indeed. Well, let me tell you something, monsieur. You are my prime. Oh, suspect. no. You may go now, but I will need to speak with you again. March. I had some valuable leads, but before following up on them, I had important like business what? to attend to. Hey, Nico, you want to grab a quick? That's your important coffee? business. Sure. Well, can't really blame a guy. You did not find anything in there. I am pleased to announce that I have finished my preliminary investigation. This is now an official crime scene, and you must all go. I shall be questioning all of you again in the coming days. Nobody is to leave the country, particularly you, Mr. Stobart. Monsieur Lane will stay behind to help secure the premises. Mo? Yes, Inspector. Let them out. Right away, sir. And the priest just sits there. Doesn't care. Two coffees, please. Nice work in there, Nico. Whatever you did, it worked. I just made a tiny distraction. A nave bought it. I think nave would buy anything that had blood on it. That's a little morbid. You know, this whole setup, the theft, the murder... Is he just going to stand sense. there? What do you mean? Well, there was a theft. Like I said, I think it was an inside job. Go on. Someone disabled the alarm, but on just one painting. Let me guess. La Maledictio. Exactly. And I aim to find out who did it. The CCTV picked up an image of the thief. His helmet had the words Waterloo Motors written across it. Interesting. I think I got a couple of good shots of him too. But I need to take a better look at them at home. Great. Let me know what you find. Ah, his coffee's done. Well, the priest thinks La Meredictio is evil. Charles, she's just He's a crazy. priest. Yeah, you're probably right. But there's something strange going on. I found the address of the security company Henri employed. It was not the one that I recommended. Good luck with your investigation. Oh, gee, thanks. Well, I guess I should go. This story won't write itself. And Georges? Yeah? It's good to see you again. Great to see you too, Nico. I watched her walk away. The sound of traffic, the sun shining, a crime to solve, and Nico. Oh no, good day. I guess. And that's it for the beta. Apparently, this is coming up pretty soon. So, I don't know how much it's going to be changed, but hey, still it's beta. Whatever. That was actually a lot of fun, and it's one of the reasons I'm going to go back and play the the original ones. I've been meaning to, I just never got around to it. But now that I played this, I'm going to go back and. Play this. I really like adventure games. I suck at them because I suck at puzzles, but I still like them. So, anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I hopefully will have more videos on Monday. I know I kind of missed this past week, but that's because of holidays. I was with family. I apologize. I didn't have videos ready to go, and since I am not a partner, I don't have the ability to schedule down, like uploads and stuff like that. So, should be back on track this coming week. More Dishonored, and I'm going to try to get some Silent Hill done. But just as an aside, may miss a couple days in December as well, especially around Christmas. That's holidays, guys. And I'm sure you guys have stuff to do too, so 
Anyway, thanks for watching.